Hello, hi student, how are you? This video about chapter 9, Space Weather. There are two subtopics in this chapter. Subtopic 9.1 is about the sun activities that affect the earth and subtopic 9.2, the space weather. So, let's start our lesson. There are six regions in the structure of sun. The core radiation zone and convective zone are in the interior region. The visible surface is the photosphere and the chromosphere, and the outermost region is corona. Let's look about the visible surface of the sun. Corona is the outermost layer. The temperature is about 1,500,000 degrees Celsius. That equivalent to 1.5 million degrees Celsius. It is a bluish white of gas which is can be seen during the solar eclipse. And the thickness is about 5 million kilometer. Second layer is chromosphere. Chromosphere is a bright reddish of gas below the corona. It also can be seen during the solar eclipse. The thickness is about 10,000 km and the temperature between 6,000 to 20,000 degree Celsius. Here is the upper layer of chromosphere and here is the below layer of the chromosphere. The third layer is a photosphere. This layer is a dense layer which is can be considered as the sun surface. We can see photosphere shining with yellow light from earth. The temperature is 6000 degrees Celsius and the thickness is about 40 km. Photosphere consists of turbulent gas atau gas yang bergelora which release from the core to the surface and give out the radiating light. The first interior structure of the sun is a convection zone, zone perolakan. It has a convection current and a large bubble of hot plasma which move to the surface. This convection happens when the more hotter gas which is near the core are less denser trying to move upwards while the less hotter gas which is uh, far further from the core move downwards because it more denser. This continuous uh, process will cause this region to become the convection zone. The energy transport here are quickly and the thickness is about 200,000 km with a 2 million degree Celsius temperature. This is the radiation zone. It is just above the Core. The energy carried out by radiation temperature is about 7 to 2 million degrees Celsius towards outside. The radiation takes 100,000 years to make its way from the core to the top. This is a core. Core is the center of the sun. It consists of hydrogen 74% and helium 25%. In here, the nuclear reaction occurs and releases the heat and the light energy when a full atom of hydrogen gas fuses to become one atom of helium. The thickness is 150 thousand kilometer and the temperature is 15 million degrees Celsius which is the most highest temperature in the Sun let's remember everything you learned earlier there are six regions on the Sun the outermost layer is corona the second layer is a chromosphere and the third is the photosphere then followed by the interior region, there are convection zone, radiation zone, and the core. The prominence, sunspot, solar flare is an example of phenomenon that occurs on the sun. Here are some examples of phenomenon that occurs on the surface of sun. Garnules, sunspot, solar cycles, prominence, coronal mass injection, and a solar wind.
Granules is a bubble of hot gas. It has a 5,800 to 6,000 degrees Celsius temperature. It visible at the upper part of convection zone, and it is the one who form the photosphere. The diameter is about 1,000 kilometer. Next is a sunspot. Sunspot is the dark area on the surface of the photosphere. The temperature lower is about 3,700 degrees Celsius than the surrounding area, making it is the lowest temperature area in the sun. Sunspot are the location of a very large eruption in the photosphere that may last than a week. This activity appear in a pair or groups. The activity seems to appear and disappear according to the cycle that lasts 11 years known as a solar cycle. These are among the sunspot picture taken. Prominence Prominence is a hot gas explosion that shoot out from the sun at most fear. But because of the sun gravitational pull, the hot gas cannot accept to the outer space and return back to the surface of the sun. Therefore, it forms a very large loop shape made up of a flaming gases on the top of the sunspot. Can reach height of a thousand kilometer, may remain of a several days or month, and can throw a body from sun into outer space at speed 600 km per second and exceeding 1000 km per second. This is among the prominence picture taken. Solar flare Solar flare is one of the phenomena that occur in the sun. Solar flare is a sudden intense explosion on the surface of a sun, which is consists of a charged particles. It occurs only a few seconds, minutes or hour. During the eruption, it will release the charged particles such as proton and electron at a high speed. So this charge can reach at the south and the north pole of Earth. Then this charge collide with the molecule of air in our atmosphere, cause the colorful light at night called aurora. This is among the solar flare picture taken. Solar wind. Solar wind consists of a plasma particles such as electrons, protons and alpha particles that erupt from the sun into outer space moving along with a high speed. It also carries a long interplanetary magnetic field and the speed is supersonic with a value between 250 km per second and 750 km per second. The speed, temperature and density varies throughout the movement. Coronal mass injection Coronal mass injection is a large cloud consisting of a plasma that erupts from the sun and often occurs along with a large and powerful solar flare. The eruption of the magnetic gas particles that spray magnetic particles out into the outer space at the high speed and appearing to be a cloud that expands. Just like a solar flare, these magnetic gas particles are also colliding with atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere and produce aurora at the Earth's pole. This among the coronal mass injection photo taken. What you can see in this diagram is magnetosphere, Earth magnetic field, and a solar wind. So, apakah yang membentuk Earth magnetosphere dan mengapakah ia sangat penting? Let's continue our lesson about the Earth magnetosphere. Before we go further about the magnetosphere, let's make a quick review about the Form 2 topic. This is a bar magnet. Remember that surround the bar magnet consists of a magnetic field. What form this magnetic field is the magnetic field lines. Sekeliling magnet bar terdapat medan magnet. Medan magnet ini terbentuk daripada garisan medan magnet. 
Therefore, our Earth actually also surrounded by the magnetic field, which is we call the Earth magnetic field. So, what is the connection between the Earth magnetic field and the magnetosphere? In fact, Earth magnetosphere is defined as the combination of a region in the outer space surrounding Earth and the Earth magnetic field. So that is the connection between the Earth magnetic field and the magnetosphere. Salah satu yang membentuk magnetosfera ialah medan magnet bumi itu sen. Degree. Okay, so magnetosphere also formed by the interaction between the magnetic field brought by the solar wind and the Earth magnetic field. Has the number and energy of the particles brought from the solar wind changed? The shape of the magnetosphere also changed. The higher the energy of the solar wind, the greater the change in the shape of the magnetosphere. Lebih tinggi tenaga yang dibawa oleh angin surya, lebih besarlah perubahan pada rupa bentuk magnetosfera. The pattern of the magnetic field in the magnetosphere changes a lot based on the interaction of the solar wind. Function of Earth magnetosphere Number 1 protect the life in earth from the harmful particles from sun number two prevent charged particles from solar wind interfere with telecommunications navigation system electric power lines from reaching the earth number three reduces the pressure exerted by the solar wind to the earth's atmosphere Subtopic 9.2 Space Weather What caused the space weather? The sun is the main source of the space weather. It is defined as the phenomenon that occurs on the surface of the sun in the outer space. The eruption of plasma and the magnetic field structure from the sun atmosphere called coronal mass injection and the solar flare cause the space weather. Geomagnetic storm. Geomagnetic storm are the brief disturbances in Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere. It is caused by the solar wind, shock wave magnetosphere, and a cloud of a magnetic field that interacts with the Earth's magnetic field. When this solar matter collides with our planet at a high speed, the surrounding magnetic field deflects it towards the pole and causes a great aurora. Solar Radiation Storm a solar radiation storm, also known as a solar proton event or SPE, it is occur often after a major eruption on the sun when a protons get launched at incredibly high speed, sometimes up to several 10,000 km in one second. This radiation storm can breach the sun earth distant in as little time as 30 minutes and lasts for a multiple days. Here are the effects of space weather, a health risk on human, disturbance of telecommunications, disturbance of navigation system or the GPS, and disturbance of the electric power. So we are at the end of our lesson. Hope you can continue doing your practice for better understanding. So until here now, see you again in next class. Bye!